Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers from afar. Doing our first Q and A here. Got some questions from Twitter. A couple. Which camera am I talking to? Uh, talk to the one directly. Either in front or. Of me. Actually, just basically look towards Adam or the one in the middle. If you look at the one in the middle of Adam and the other oh, camera. Oh, you look now just the, just don't look that side. Left right. Right. The one that's in the middle of Adam and the other camera. Hi look guys. At, look at that one. We have a Q and A going on here. I'm gonna look at the one directly in front of me. Exactly. We are shooting a Q&A. We got some questions from Twitter, some questions from our Instagram, and we have Lord Swords over here to shoot us the questions. All right, so what do we got? All right, so first question from Michael J. Neefsey, uh, which is, boys, what is your perfect three-car garage? Garage. Gar what's a garage? You have to define that first. A uh, place where you store vehicles. It's not like cabbage? Three-car so cabbage. Mm. Biodiesel. He does love biodiesel. All right, three car garage. This is a tough one. It's gotta be three, three different things that fill three different categories. One's gotta be a daily driver car that is most people won't use as a daily driver. The next has gotta be some sort of off-road vehicle. And the third has gotta be some like ridiculously expensive car that like no one has. So? So. What are you thinking? Let's start with the uh, ridiculously expensive car, McLaren F1 GTR. But that kind of fucks up my daily driver because I my six seven five is like my favorite car right now. I mean that works. I mean, that's so yeah, but then driver. I got two McLarens. Does, it doesn't matter. I mean no one, no one's got a fucking. <laughs> what a what a dick across us. <laughs> but I like everything to be different. So let's uh, let's go to the off road thing then. Trophy truck, just a flat out trophy truck, but one that I can drive on the road in case I need to pick up groceries and <laughs> I can't fit it in you know my f1 like actual doors that open and not climb through the window style that's no that's irrelevant as long as it's street legal we can climb through the windows the only problem is like if you order like a, or if you bought like a bumper pack of toilet roll trying to get that in through the window of like a trophy truck might be you know what I mean like, you don't have to buy singles or just <laughs> wet wipes it's a roof rack <laughs> just like <laughs> mobbing down the street <laughs> like shit flying off left and right <laughs> This guy's got the worst garage. Yeah, fuck it. It's a, a six, seven, five daily driver. Two okay. McLarens and a and a trophy truck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing I run into. Does it have to be cars? You did ask cars. Dumpster full of body parts. <laughs> a freezer full of heads. Does it have to be cars or could it be dead hookers? Three car. I'm, car. I'm just gonna show. stick to. I'm gonna stick it's to a cars. It's car show. Jet ski. Stand up jet ski. <laughs> Hot tub. <laughs> Hot in a stripper pole, all combined. Fucking idiots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it to be cars. I meant like motorcycles. Hold that um, thought. Just a fleet of Razor scooters. <laughs> so, here's how it would go down. I would have the Ford, Ford GT40, GT40 Mark One, right? Golf livery. Yeah. Fucking monster truck. A like a legit, monster. like, motherfucking grave digger. Like, seriously, like a full on like monster a truck. Full on monster truck. All right. All right. Like, 2,000, 3,000 horsepower monster truck. Such a redneck. That would be the daily, right? The daily. Yeah. Then I would, I would prefer like a pro touring, well-built 67 Camaro. It's like very like everything kind of shaved. Like you can't really tell what the fuck's going on, but there's like a dick ton of horsepower under it. And of course with a six speed, something I can just bang gears and like thrash everywhere that's just loud as fuck. What's, what's the oddball out there in that mix? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he matches perfectly with a Camaro and a monster truck. Yeah. It's like, how did, he, how did he stumble upon this GT40? Yeah. So I'm gonna strip it for parts. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> that was just two, two really good goals. So Nasef says, how do you come up with these crazy video ideas? It's hard enough, hard enough planning it, but then improvising it? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So when we think of a video idea, we try to think about what the purpose of this series is to begin with. And then we also think about what can we do realistically? What do we have available to us? What do we want to do? What do we think would be fun? What do we think would serve a purpose? And the idea of the series is finding ways to participate in motorsports, whether it be experiences that you learn from or experiences you create or adventures you find. And we try to find those different things. And it usually goes around thinking, okay, I want to learn how to drive a rally car. What can we do? There's a rally school that offers that. Those are pretty straightforward. Then there's other ones where it's like, we have this Jeep. Okay, what do we do with it? That's a question you ask yourself when 
you uh, are getting into cars and you don't know where to start. And I think a lot of people have that question. And so we're trying to fill that box. And it might seem like we're just out there doing wild shit, but it always comes from thinking, I wanna go have fun in a vehicle. What can I do? Where can I go? Sometimes it's as simple as being like, there's this off-road park up the way. And then we think, how do we make that from this one idea to something where Zach ends up ruining it? <laughs> no, but like, since we are making, uh, you know, YouTube videos, <laughs> you look so upset about that. Hey man. You did that you, Yeah, that's the thing that happened. Let's remember. I don't blame anybody but myself. And then, you know, nature. <laughs> Fucking holding me back. He was literally just driving out like this. <laughs> Sweet. Counter steer. <laughs> yeah, then we try to think, all right, we have, we have this thing we're going to do. Let's, how do we make it? We are making entertainment. We're making YouTube videos. How do we make it something a little bit more than that? And then we think of concepts or challenges or how to, how to highlight the specific part of what we're doing and, and really bring it to the forefront. Yeah. So uh, let's take the last video, for instance. We wanted to go snowmobiling. It looks awesome. I, I've been jet skiing a bunch of times. Love that. Never been snowmobiling. And we're out here trying to get different motorsport experiences. Let's go to the snow and the snow motorsport is snowmobiling. So we go to Mammoth to do that. Trails are closed. Okay, what the fuck do we do now? And then it's like, we think about the situation we're in. And anyone that went up to Mammoth not shooting a YouTube video to go snowmobiling, to find that the trails were closed, would sit there in a kitchen going, what do we do now? What do we do today? Like I'm sitting here, and my, my plans are fucked. What do we do? So we sat around a table and we thought about that. And we, we were making a list of how do we make this not just a boring cabin snow day? And we got a list of stuff and most of it we didn't do, but the one thing we did was, what are snowmobiles about, right? Being in the open on a vehicle, mm -hmm. open air. What do we have? Well, we have an off-road vehicle, two of them, where you can take all the doors and roof off. Exactly. And yeah, it's snowing, but we're gonna mimic snowmobiles. So that's what we did. And it turned out awesome. Cause we can just go back and rent snowmobiles anytime. But that idea sprung from everything else getting fucked over. Zachary Coon says, when are we gonna see you whip it in a WRX? Ah. Oh. Yes. There are plans to get us in a WRX, rally cars. In July, going to Dirtfish Rally School to film an episode up there to actually properly learn how to drive a rally car, which just so happens to be a WRX. It's fully prepped. How do you feel about properly learning how to do something? I feel good about it. Are you gonna be able to drive with two hands? <laughs> I don't know. If it, you literally, I've only. No, dude, it's a stick, so, you know. You yeah, gotta but be you, ready. You gotta be ready and willing. I think at some point you take your hand off the stick, though. <laughs> yeah. See that? It's like, get it. See that? It's, this... it's the reverse for him. He just leaves it over there and then occasionally taps the steering wheel. Everyone else, it's this. <laughs> it's just. He's like, let me just start with that. I'm gonna take like, it seriously. I'm, I'm going to take it seriously. I've, I've always wanted to learn how to drive a rally car. Would you say this is right up your alley? 100%. Every, almost every single car I've ever owned, I've driven it down gravel roads just pretending I was in a rally car. You know what I mean? Like, I have not. Well, your cars have been like, you know. <laughs> not not really rally prep. Different price point. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that. Nick says, can you shoot video of Zach during spring break? Funny you should ask. I feel like we'd be uh, copyright infringement though for Girls Gone Wild or like Bang Bus <laughs> or any of those fucking like fake taxi. I don't know, it's some weird shit you've been through. <laughs> Casting couch. Yeah, all that, uh, done, been there, done that. But yeah, funny you should ask that question. Yeah, in March, we are going on spring break Woo! for you guys. At the ripe old age of 31 and 28. <laughs> this will be my... 12th, 12th. Well, 12. spring break. Well, it yeah, will be my 12th. third. I do not even know what spring break is. Well, you're about to find out, Adam, in an extravagant way. Stay tuned. Lake Havasu, coming for you, baby. Yeah. So we will, we will film Zach on spring break. How much of Zach's endeavors make it on a camera will have to do with YouTube's policies. Why don't you just, why don't you just go ahead and kiss? <laughs> you, ever, you ever done anal before? You ever been with a girl? Show a, show a titty. Just one. Come on. I'll pay you $30. <laughs> I'll tell you what right now. $30 is worse than 20 Because <laughs> at least 20 is just kind of like, it makes sense. Here's a, here's a $20 bill. 
30 is like, you couldn't give me two 20s? Yeah. <laughs> you can only do 30 bucks. That's exactly like a 20, a five. Like a <laughs> couple, like, couple of ones. Change. change. Here's a fucking bus ticket. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Caleb asks, what is each of your craziest spring break stories? Well, Zach, when he broke his neck. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah, I think that actually, that one tops it. It was, it, yeah, you, should, you should go first. I still got to think of mine, man. Uh, all right, well, I'm, I'm really bad at thinking of best of stories, so give me a second. In 2015, it was like my last consecutive spring break. It was great. It was like this passing of the torch because it was my little brother who's 11 years younger than me. It was his first spring break. We went to Cancun. We got blitz at the pool. We went to like Coco Bongo. We went to another club. Came back, Braveheart style fucking charge into the ocean, amped, running in a full sprint. Security guards with like automatic weapons. No, 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 no. Shining the flashlights and shit. Still running in a full sprint. Big ass wave coming. Dive into this wave. Hit a rock, top of my head. Fractured a vertebrae. Chipped a bunch of teeth and shit. But luckily, because I was intoxicated at the time, I hit like a limp noodle and it kind of saved my life and so i immediately like stood up <laughs> and I was, the night yeah i was as soon as i hit i could just feel this crunch go all the way down my spine like all the way to my tailbone alcohol saves low, lives lo siento literally and, broke his neck and uh yeah i wa walked back and went into the hot tub slept with a dos equis can under my neck like this for like 12 hours a king tut. Yeah. Then I woke up. King and butt. I went down. I went back down to the pool bar. I wasn't. I didn't intend on drinking, but like I was hurting so bad that I was like, I just started drinking again. And then I actually wound up having a three-way. <laughs> like, yeah, three-way compound fracture in your neck. <laughs> Mine would be, oh fuck, holy shit moment. That's where I think the craziest stories come in. So I'm, I'm at the, uh, the day party there, Puerto Vallarta, at the pool party. And there's a girl there, too cool for school, won't talk to anybody. End of the day, all the dudes have been exhausted from trying to, <laughs> trying to get with her. Now's the time, I'm gonna go in. Yo, what's up? I'm not staying at this like garbage spring break hotel. I'm at the nice hotel next door. Let's go get a nice meal, like a real meal of food that isn't like tacos from a buffet. Let me just treat you right. Let me treat you right, girl. <laughs> not all inclusive hotel the one where you have to pay per meal she's like cool i'm just gonna go back and change because we're gonna go to dinner we go back to to her room and she's like staying there with like her sorority sisters or whatever coming down the sidewalk and rounding the corner water flooding coming from under the door and she's like what the fuck is going on in here? We open the door, room is filled with water. What the fuck? Shower running. We turn the corner, her fucking friend is in the shower. <laughs> like this, shower running, just like this. Dead girl. That girl is dead. Mm -hmm. That girl right there is fucking dead. Holy shit, check their pulse. We have a fucking dead girl on our hands. Wakes up, what's going on? Oh fucking thank God you're alive! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Her and her roommate start getting into it. This is the fucking worst thing in the world. The last thing you want when you're trying to like get with a girl is fucking arguments between her and her friends. Well, the second to last thing, the last thing you want is a dead girl. The dead chick, <laughs> I think that's the dead chick. The yeah, second to last thing cake. you want is fucking argument so that that goes on um that was the first time i ever like thought i saw a dead body and i was gonna be like this is gonna be my fault welcome like somehow life. i'm gonna end up in a mexican prison what'd you say so welcome to my life <laughs> <laughs> my life they're usually dead so yeah uh uh near corpse experience all right um dan flesher says next how will you judge the success of narpm is it a personal endeavor and creating content is a bonus or is it profit or bust Profit or bust. Um, it, it needs profit to keep going. I mean, there's, there's no way. Like, I fund it now from the money I make from other things, and it just takes a lot of money to do. I mean, it's from the production to the events to the vehicles. Yeah, it's, it's stuff I would sort of be spending my money on anyway, because it's my hobby and my passion now that I'm turning into a video series, but adding the element of making it a video series is recurring costs that start to add up. So yeah, it does need to make profit for it to be a viable thing that continues to go. But the success of it does not weigh completely on if it, how much money it makes or if it makes money. To me, it's, it's the comments you guys write about how much you enjoy it. Like that's the stuff I read that really matters to me because I want to make good content. I want to tell a story and that's what I do this for. And if, all those, the, the three things that need to add up are how much people enjoy it when they watch it, how many people watch it, and if it makes money. And if those three things can all work together, then 
it is successful. Without one of those, the rest start to kind of fall apart. And that's just the process of getting something off the ground. We are motivated and just chugging along by seeing how well you guys respond to this. And it's, it's killer. Every time we put out an episode, to hear the feedback is really inspiring to me. Even to hear that I inspire you guys, because it's just like, I just really enjoy living life. I want other people to enjoy it as much as I do. And I want to put out a good fucking content. I want to tell a story and entertain people. And if that can also make money, perfect. Then it can keep going. Then I can keep doing this for a living because this is what I do for a living. So if you guys like it, more people watch it, makes money, then boom, it's successful. How about you, Zach? It's just, it's fucking rad to read different emails and... <laughs> <laughs> it's uh... Not to break the fucking moment there. What do we got? All right, so Dan Harris asks, what is the most insane, crazy stunt that you'd always want to do but never actually have the balls to try out? You got anything? It'd be fucking sweet to drive a car off like a really huge cliff while it's on fire and be able to like get out of it and like parachute. Never be able to be done because it would just not fucking possible. <laughs> Yeah, I never did this stunt. I never got a chance to do it. But no, like... no, I'm saying like that I've always wanted to do. Oh, oh the yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've always, I've always shot out of a laser cannon. Yeah, I want to fuck Aphrodite while <laughs> riding a drift car around Saturn's rings. Do you have a stunt that you want to do? Like a, like a stunt that would be like actually fucking possible? Shoot no. me in the head. <laughs> Zach drove a car off a cliff on fire while getting roadhead from a dolphin, which is a mermaid, but the other half. <laughs> a fish with legs. <laughs> but at least it's got a, a vagina though. A human vagina, but the top end. Okay, so I'm gonna pose another question here, Zach. This one's from, from at Mike Tonabeni. Okay, Zach, would you rather have Sexual intercourse with a mermaid in traditional fashion, which is top the, half human, the, the fish half bottom, bottom half fish, mm. or <laughs> top, top, top half fish, bottom half human lady. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna go with the latter. <laughs> I'm an ass man, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be the ass. I can, I can put a sheet over the fish. <laughs> Yeah, he pinched the nose a little bit. <laughs> Fucking staring at you, you know, it's just like... Like, you can see the eye. The huge ass back. fish is like... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, cause I... This is the upper make when it comes, like... I just pictured that the deer was working his head, it was like, how do I butt fuck a fish? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, get unhappy, he's like... I will fuck half a fish if it means I can get up in that ass. <laughs> Does not matter. Next question. I, I, I was expecting you to be like, what kind of fish? <laughs> I was just about to say that, yeah. Like, would it matter what the time? If, if, were, if we were a dolphin, then Cat it would change. If, if we were like a, a fucking carp versus a dolphin. A bottom feeder? Yeah, there's just some bottom. bullshit fish. Then no. no. But if it was like a sexy one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Next question. Uh, from Wes Humza. Does Zach eat ass? <laughs> fish ass or human ass? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, this... I'm literally fucking crying. <laughs> what do we got next? All right, next up, uh, Matt Marquez says, um, can we explain... explain... I'm starting to slur my words a lot too, man, with all these <laughs> beers going <laughs> Jesus, all right, let's, let's try again. Matt Marquez says, can we expect daily vlogs between 9 p.m. episodes? Ooh. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, my, my initial thought is immediately no. No, definitely no. Um, well, here's the thing. We don't have a lot of time to edit it. I mean, it's either when we're doing RPM, we're either on the road shooting, we're back editing. And it's like, it's just, it's just a constant perpetual like. So yeah, well, to expand on that, um, <laughs> we, we, we always talk about doing vlogs. We know the value of it. Um, it's uh, to be on this YouTube treadmill and to work with the algorithm and to give people content constantly. You have to do stuff very consistently. The stuff we shoot, the editing alone takes two weeks. Yeah. Like, and on the short time, the shortest would be five days. 
the absolute shortest is five days. So we can't even turn a video around, a full NARPM video around in a week, plus the production and the, the, the travel and the shooting. So there's that. I personally am not a fan of, uh, of daily vlogging. Now I see the value in it, I know the importance, but every time I think about shooting a vlog, I'm like, why not make it more? Like why not tell more of a story? And then we end up shooting a full NARPM video and it takes a week to edit. So that's, that's the thought I do every time, because like, uh, it's just, it's not really my style of content. I swear to God, every day I roll that thought over my head, like, can I just find a way to mix that in? Yeah. Uh, this, this is about as vloggy as you're gonna get. Yeah, this, like, this is, we're working on it. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it, it sometimes seems like it's a, it's a necessary thing to be, to have some sort of consistency where you get that insight into whatever you're doing in that moment. And I get it, but, you know, I just, I want to, I want to add more to it. I want to, it's not the type of content I want to create, but I, I think there's also a demand for it. Yeah, but it's also the same reason I do bro science videos every week. I, I equate it to soap operas. It's not that soap operas are bad. It's that I, I used to work on a soap opera and it was, there's 10,000 episodes. There's no season breaks. They keep turning these things out and it's like they have to film them that way. They have to write them that way. And that's what they end up being. And that's not really, what we're creating here. I'm, I'm gonna put a little more time into it and it's gonna be something different, but exactly. it's gonna be a little, little less uh, consistent. I think the key is that people wanna see the day-to-day, -day, behind the scenes, like the type of thing that we would get in a vlog is Instagram stories, the Narpian Instagram stories. Like that's our daily vlog because if there is something worth documenting that we're doing outside of an episode, it will be in an Instagram story. If you want to see daily vlogs, not daily, because I'm definitely not doing daily vlogs, because I do. Definitely not editing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not even, yeah, like, the, 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 first of all, if, if we start editing the daily vlogs, they're going to become bi-weekly vlogs. <laughs> but, you know, I, I still have to do bro science and all the other side projects uh, along with that. Plus, I don't want to, I don't want to be on camera every single day. Um, but if we were to start doing vlog content, what would you want to see? And knowingly, if the quality, the production quality were to drop, is that still something that you'd be into? Or should we just stick to what we're doing? But mm -hmm. I wanna pose a question of, what is it that we could offer that you would wanna see aside from our standard NARPM videos? And I'm not making any guarantees because I do this shit to create the content I wanna create. And that's, that's the code I'm gonna stick by forever. But if I can find a happy medium, I might fill that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. Otherwise your subscription means nothing. It means absolutely nothing to us. Oh, well, it means nothing to you, I guess. Yeah, it's like, I, do, I wanna subscribe to this magazine, but please don't send me the magazine. Go to, go to narpm.com. Um, you can do a couple of things there. One, you can watch the videos that you've missed out on. Hopefully you don't miss out on any of them because you hit the bell button. Two, you can buy some gear. That really helps, goes a long way. Three, you can read some blog posts, which we don't have up yet, but we will. Soon. Soon, so soon. Say bye, Bandit. Say bye, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Say bye to the fans. Say bye to the fans. Oh, yeah. Say bye. Oh, I know. Yeah, say bye. Jesus. Oh.